Now let's try to solve quadratic equation. So solving quadratic equations, you have four different methods. You can always factor. You can take the square root properties. You can complete the square or you can use the quadratic formula. The first one is the easiest one, factoring, but you need to, the problem has to be factorable. The second one, you need the perfect square. Three and four, you can use it for any quadratic equation. So for um, this example, as you can see, we can easily factor this example. So um, I pick two numbers. When you multiply, you get 18. When you uh, add, you get negative 9. So that's going to be x minus 6, x minus 3. And then we have x minus 6 equals 0, so x equals 6. x minus 3 equals 0, so x equals 3. Notice that we have two solutions because the degree of quadratic is 2. Therefore, we have two solutions. Now, that problem is super easy because everything is in standard form. So you see number 30 right here, we don't have standard form. So what is standard form of quadratic? Standard form of quadratic is ax squared plus bx plus. bx plus c equals zero. So that's the standard form. Now, let's rewrite this particular example so we can get standard form. 2u squared minus 5u minus 3 equals 0. Now, we factor. So we have negative 6 here, negative 5. I pick two numbers. When you multiply, you get negative 6. When you add, um, you get negative 5. So 3. So we get negative 6 and 1. So negative 6 divided by 2. I'm going to use my method. And then I reduce it. I get negative 3 over 1. So what I have is u minus 3 2u plus 1. So when you solve it, you're going to end up with u equals 3 and u equals negative 1 half. Okay, so hopefully you understand why I got to that part. You set u minus 3 equal to 0. You set 2u plus 1 equal to 0. All right, number 31. You see, it's very messy, right? Because we don't have standard form. So the first thing you need to do is you need to FOIL, simplify, and change everything, move everything to one side so we can get the um, standard form. Okay. So... I'm going to subtract w squared, subtract 14w, subtract 49. So we can get the standard form over here. So I get 0 here, w squared, plus 3w, minus 4. Okay. Now the problem just got so much easier. So we have w plus 4 and w minus 1. So this one is 0, this one is 0, which give us w equals negative 4 and w equals 1. All right, so after we master how to solve a quadratic equation, of course, we have to take care of application problems. So for application problems, I always try to draw or make table so I can visualize the problem. So what we have is a rectangle. The length of a rectangle is five feet less than twice the width, and the area is given. Now, 
make sure that I, I understand that we have the length and the width, but you don't want to um, assign two variables because if you assign two variables, you have to come up with two equations. So let's just assign one variable. You pick the one you know the least of. So in this case, the one we know nothing about is the width. So let's call that x. If the width is x, the length is 5 feet less than twice the width, which is 2x minus 5. All right. And we have the area. So the area is 52. The area is length times width. So I have x, 2x minus 5. All right. So let's solve it. First, we have to distribute. Let's say if you don't recognize this is a quadratic. Of course, when you see parentheses, you have to get rid of it. So now, turn out it's a quadratic, so we have to move everything and make it zero. Okay, I'm going to have to factor. Okay, so 13, negative 13 times 8 will give you one, uh, negative 104, and when you add, you get negative 5. So I'm going to divide by 2 to reduce it. So I got the answer. So we got 2x minus 13 and x plus 4. So when you solve for x, we ended up with 13 over 2, and then this one, x equals to negative 4. Now we're talking about the width, so we cannot have a negative number. So that's going to be your solution. Now this is the width. So to get the length, you need to plug it in. This is the length, 2x minus 5. So 2 times 13 over 2 minus 5. So that's going to give you 8. So the, the answer is um, 8 feet for the length and 13 over 2 feet for the width. All right. Moving on to number 33. So as you can see, 33, we have a perfect square with no bx. So we have no middle terms. Once you have the perfect square and you have no middle terms, it's really easy. All you have to do is take the square root of both sides. The only thing I need to uh, remind you is when you take the square root, we ended up with plus and minus 9. Because don't forget y equals 9, y squared is 81. But when y equals negative 9, y squared y square is also 81. So make sure you have the plus and the minus sign. Okay, so same thing, 34. We do not have the um, middle, uh, the bx, the middle term. So I'm just going to take the square root. So taking the square root, taking the square root, we ended up with plus and minus. And then make sure you, have, you, you, uh, you reduce it. So if you simplify it, I shouldn't say reduce, simplify it. So this one is going to give you... 4 times 5. So you, when you take the perfect square out, you ended up with plus and minus 2 square root of 5. Okay, 35. 
So 35 right here, you see that we, w the first thing you need to do is you need to isolate the perfect square. So I have to isolate the perfect square here. Okay, now we can use the square root property. So if I take the square root, I ended up with y minus 4 plus and minus square root 44. What's that? I can take the um, plus and minus, I can take the perfect square out, which is 4 here. So we ended up with plus and minus 2 radical 11. Now we still have y minus 4. So you just add 4 over. So we have 4 plus and minus 2 radical 11. And that's your final answer. Notice that because we have quadratic, you ended up with two solutions. Now, what if you have the middle terms? You have the middle terms, and we want to use the square root property. So we're going to have to somehow make it into perfect square. So the way to make it into a perfect square is you take the middle term right here. You take the middle term, you divide by 2, and you square it. Okay, so we ended up with y squared. The middle term divide by 2, which is negative 2 divided by 2. We square it, so we ended up with y squared minus 2y plus 1. Okay, now you will have the perfect square binomial. So when you factor, you're going to have y minus 1 squared. That minus 1 right here, essentially, is just b divided by 2. All right, so let's do the problem using um, uh, using this method, completing the square. So we have to go step by step. The first step, you move the constant to the other side, which is negative 6. Second step, you complete the square. So how do I complete the square? Remember earlier, we take the middle term, we divide by 2, I'm going to write over here. So 6 divided by 2, and we square it. So if I have 6 divided by 2, that's 3. 3 squared is 9. Now, this is important. I just add 9 on the left-hand side. I have to do the same thing on the right-hand side. Otherwise, you change the problem. The next step, we can factor. So it's going to be x plus 3 square. Like I said, it's just 6 divided by 2. That's how I got 3. 6 plus 3 square. On this side, we have 3. Now we have the perfect square binomial, so you can just take the square root, take the square root. So I ended up with x plus 3 plus and minus square root of 3. And then make sure you subtract 3 over. So our two solutions is negative 3 plus and minus square root of 3. All right, that's how you complete the square. Now, the last thing we can do for um, quadratic equation is quadratic formula. I actually prefer um, completing the square because I think completing the square is easy. However, very important, in order for you to complete the square, A has to be 1. So if a, a has to be 1. So if a is anything other than 1, you have to divide and get 1. So you see right here, number 38, a is 5. So in order for you to use quadratic to, to complete the square, you're going to have to divide 5 by everything, and then you ended up with 
uh, fraction. A lot of people don't like fraction. So for this one, let's just use um, the quadratic formula. And this is the quadratic formula. You need to memorize that by heart. X equals negative b plus and minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And then from there, we just use, um, use the formula. So we have negative 9 plus and minus 9 squared minus 4. 5 times 2 over 2 times 5 and then we reduce it we simplify it So that's the final answer. All right, 39, find all the complex solution. I see the three there. I'm just gonna use quadratic formula. So it's gonna be negative b, so one, plus and minus, so x equals, plus and minus square root negative one square minus four, a is 3, C is 4, over 2 times 3. So I'm going to simplify this. So we ended up with 47, negative 47. This is a problem. You are not allowed to have negative under the radical, so make sure you take I out. So I, square root of 47, over 6. Therefore, we do have complex solution for this problem because of i.